Patrick said perfectly. I hear you. I hear your voice. Oh, nice studio. Oh, you have sand, guitar. You see, I put, I arranged some some kind of visual background, you know. <laughs> so I know, it will be interesting. Also, also I have in the, on the side here my screen, so I can put oh, here some. Me. Uh, <laughs> that's music. me. That's me. I'm a messenger. So uh, I can put some uh, music here. Yes. For example, uh, okay. this uh, kind of uh, music, and uh, it's on the speaker, so it can be like background, you know. So you use Windows 7, that's all. I recommend to use Windows 10, 10 Pro is perfect if you have a good specification laptop. How, how the sound, uh, do you hear the background? Yes, the sound is perfect. I hear you, I hear your voice, I hear everything. Thank you so much. So my friend Boris, did also, what? Do you check my questions, my what friend? What do you say? Do you check my questions? You want, you want to uh, your questions? Uh, I checked your questions and I want you the answers, but uh, you want to start to ask me so I can uh, somehow repeat what I uh, what I already thought about. Okay, so. Should we start, my friend? It's okay if I sometimes put the screen here on the. Okay, you can turn my screen. Your camera on the screen. I'm speaking with me. Okay, you can turn your camera, or you can. So just... it will not be so much boring, you know. <laughs> From time to time, I can turn it to it here. You see. It's okay. It's okay, my friend. Keep it like okay. that. Okay. Turn your camera on the screen. Turn your camera on the screen if you prefer. Okay, okay, let's start. Okay, okay. Really excited, my friend. A nice journey with an amazing composer and painter, director Boris from Israel. Thank you so much for your coming today. Really appreciate it, my friend. Can you hear me perfectly? I can hear excellent. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, a music interview with uh, a musician producer, Boris from Israel, and question number one. So my first question, I want to know your journey in electronic music. How would you become a composer? That's my first question. Uh, you see, I, I really never learned to play music. And uh, what uh, my journey into music was by starting to create musical instruments. It's a very music different music kind music of approach. Journey, yes. I, I'm uh, because uh, why did I start to make uh, my own musical instruments? Because I didn't like the sound of uh, commercial synthesizers. Yes. I wanted to create my own sound that is not polished, that is not uh, synthesized, you know, that is like a uh, very like a uh, hardcore harsh sound you know <laughs> i know <laughs> and i can really and i can really show you uh, well, it, it, my first synthesizer it's still working and i make a show is impressive oh wow it's, it's a kind of uh, interesting stuff wow impressive that's noise noise that was Textures and noises, right? like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. Really, really like it. Wow, that's the first time to play it. A lot of good sound, my friend. You see, you have here uh, two oscillators and two touch strings and two. Uh, potentiometers, you see. Yes, yes. So they control the they control the frequency they of the sound, the and you have a speaker that uh, plays the sound, and uh, it sounds like uh, very not polished as you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> really love it, my friend. I love it, love it so much. Thank you, thank you for showing showing me this. So uh, it is. Yeah, let's uh, continue with your question. So after I build it, 
Yes. And another synthesizer also. Me and my friend who was the electri uh, electronic man. Yes. He was a really young man and uh, we started to play with those instruments. And after a while, we found a singer. So we, we, we created a band because this oh, singer. Right. Short band, yes. I see some of photos you play in the piano and keyboard and in a small room. No, I played my own instruments yes, because know. it was the most interesting sound. Uh, was sounds that I played with my own instrument, you know. The reason was to, to make this band to me was to take those instruments and those terrible sounds to the <laughs> public. <laughs> you know, the, the singer, it also his songs were terrible. He, he sing about the madness, and there's uh, some uh, sexy stuff, you know, terrible things. So it was like uh, to break out all the rules, you know, all, to erase all the beauty from the music and to leave only junk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wish to be there to see this singer. <laughs> yeah, it was very, very like... Uh, expressive stuff as you understand it <laughs> the name of the group was Sharmut of Lang in the Mountains you know what is Sharmut it's Arabic world Lang in the Mountains it's like a... <laughs> so we made a lot of fun with this band and it continues about uh, two years something like that it, was, it started in uh, 1987 and continue two years. It, uh, we finished it uh, like in 1989. And after that, I did another thing. I opened some uh, rehearsal studio and I worked with some bands like, uh, and, uh, like uh, try to understand different kind of music and how I know, I know. people play it, play it, stuff like that. Is your country? have broken metal in Israel, bands, broken metal, electronic music? Uh, you see, it, there was a period uh, when I opened the, the rehearsal studio, there was a period that it was more popular, the metal stuff, and uh, a lot of bands uh, were coming and playing also metal stuff, like playing Metallica and stuff like that. Nice metal. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, also punk uh, punk groups came to play, and uh, also new wave groups, uh, also Israeli music like uh, uh, style of uh, you know Hebrew speaking know. music. So it's uh, all kind of stuff. Uh, all kind of bands came to me to play this music, so I have the opportunity to. To listen uh, to a lot of players and to understand more uh, like what is the kind of but what was uh, a little disappointment to me that there was a very little experimental stuff because i was more interested in experimental kind of music you know and uh, most of people don't uh, don't much into it you know i understand sure Okay, so, more I'm questions. Happy. I'm very happy to see there's a lot of bands, rock and metal, jazz, a lot of things in your country contain music and art and accept the artworks. Yes, uh, there is some stuff, you know, but uh, uh, what my direction is, especially, it's not uh, like mainstream, you know. It's more like experimental stuff. Uh, it's more like... Uh, uh, some uh, uh, experimental jazz avant-garde stuff, you know, stuff like this. Uh, uh, drone, drone stuff also I'd, I do from time to time. Okay, so well, a lot of information from the first question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue with other questions. Oh, my friend, we just have a 40 minute in Zoom because you and I have a basic account. But 
if uh, still questions, I will call you again so we can continue a 40 minute again. So until the questions finished. So, so a lot of questions I have. Okay, so the second question, how do you discover your particular sound? Uh, my particular sound was uh, discovered by making instruments because uh, uh, to me, and I, I continue with this stuff, you know, uh, I continue to, you see this guitar, for example, you see how many stuff is connected to it. I connected a shell to guitar and a lot of effects, everything here. And there is another pickup that I played. A small I play on this pickup like this. So you have like, oh, I understand. You make some. It's like it uh, gives me a very different, uh, very unusual sound. So I can play, make something that does not sound uh, usual. Uh, so uh, it's not I. It's not uh, like uh, if I found my sound, I'll continue to search for my sounds and develop it uh, in uh, all the time. You know, it's endless uh, exper experiment. So you do a lot of experiment in your instrument, right? Long time, take a long of practicing. So you have a small body board. I like it. So you do a lot of experiment and discover your own sound by your own system. Also, I, I, I buy different effects and try to see can yes, yes. what can I do with them. Oh, I buy different no, instruments and see what is useful to me yes, that, that I can mix. Your own sound by experimenting, just like me when I'm using BSC plugins or using DAW, so spending a lot of time to discover my own sound. Of course, you checked my work. My, my last work, Sola Invocation, that's some- Yeah, yeah, it's a kind of a interesting drone you have something. Yes, yes. Uh, ambient drone something. Yes, yes. <laughs> Just like that, yes. I do that by experiment a lot to find my sound and keep practicing. So the only way to master the instrument by keep practicing and do a lot of experiment. <laughs> so, yes. And- the third question. I know I put uh, now I put on the background some music. Okay. Uh, so the audience can hear a bit, uh, and also I will show a little bit of my video. But you can uh, continue to ask me questions. Okay. Should we jump to next question? I start with the question three. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Yes, I, I love the I love the background. Well done. So the third question is, what inspire you and what make you want to keep producing music, my friend Boris? Uh, I think it's a matter of uh, uh, to bring to my life a kind of excitement, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you, you can live like a instant life, what I call like everything is given to you and you can live without any effort actually but if you are artist if you are an artist you try to make your life interesting by making art you know interesting yes you're right it's a kind of adventure yes like adventure like a journey to find yourself during the art to find your yes music to make the world more great and beautiful because that's what's the artist mission <laughs> you see, there are a lot of uh, reasons that you can uh, drive artists to do something, but it's for me, it's an uh, adventure, you know. Yeah, like I not make it, I not make my living from art, you know. <laughs> yes, you're right. Just like the live interview when I make it with the artist, it's just like an adventure to discover and find myself. Long, long adventure, like a journey. So. Should we jump to the next question? Yes. So the fourth question is, what are a few key lessons you have learned about the producing that other aspiring musicians or producers would take advice from? You see, because my approach to music is a, a bit different from usual, 
So I don't know if my, if anybody can use my advice because it's uh, my my way, you know. Uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, you have to really, if you want to produce something good, yes. it should uh, have the the audience ex excitement and experience of uh, like a uh, hypnotizing experience you know it's not uh, about bo make people boring you know like it's not uh, like waste their time you have to make your audience feel something feel you right so awesome answer my friend so should we jump to the next question my friend Yes. Okay. Question five. How do you get into music and for how long have you been producing for? You see, I not all the time uh, was making only music. Uh, from time to time, I was more into visuals and stuff like that. A various artists. And, uh, painting. And the... Uh, uh, and the... Uh, music, a band. So you do a lot of things. Wow. And uh, I made the uh, paintings, the uh, graphics, the uh, photographs, you know, it takes time also, all these projects uh, take time. So yes, yes, and, the, uh, time, right? So, or just, just like a visual, music visual. Or, uh, and uh, sometimes I, I uh, try to combine it. I also make some movies from time to time and making music, music from movies that I, uh, shooting oh. and stuff like that oh, no. <laughs> you see it's it's my icon actually i made it like a, so from a steals i made a movie <laughs> you made it just like a short movie yeah yeah <laughs> i made it at all it's all like uh, from photoshop steals i was changing on photoshop uh, colors <laughs> and make it I like know. if i were playing a show <laughs> <laughs> oh, impressive. You do all that. And uh, this is uh, this instrument is Vortex. It's kind of a guitar that you play like uh, you play like a guitar. A guitar oh, is, uh, you know, you wear it like guitar and play on the stage. I know. So I bought, I bought one and I was. Uh, I was uh, playing with it and I recorded it and after I make the visuals. So you do all that by yourself, the visual, the music, the animation. Yeah, <laughs> I just... The... Uh... So you use it just like just like a show in the background, right? When you go like... Yeah. <laughs> that... You see, I... I um... When I perform, I don't uh, put some videos on the background. But maybe it's a good idea to start to, you know. I think it's because good. I, I can start to to publish your video as a background. I mean, play it in the background. Yes, maybe I will try to uh, a good to idea. do something like show your video and the audience or the people who listen to your music. Uh, you know, when I start, uh, when I prepare my my shows, there is so much stuff I have to carry. Uh, to you know, a lot of arrangement, a lot of instruments, because I play in the same time. I play uh, like on two synthesizers and drums and sing also. You know, it's a lot of. Uh, a lot, a lot of, of uh, stuff. Yes, and know. the last time I, they have no PA, so I have to to uh, to bring my own like uh, sound uh, to uh, to make all the arrangement, you know, because they have no in place their PA public address. They have no the 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 amplifier, they have no speakers. I have to bring all the, all the stuff with me, you know. It's a lot of uh, work. Yes, a lot of work, of course. You did a lot of things, my friend. <laughs> you did a lot of things. <laughs> really, really impressed, Boris. You're amazing. Thank you. Amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> oh. 
much respect to you. You are a masterpiece artist. You do all that by yourself. Congratulations. Yes, you know, say, when I was younger, I tried to work with the other people. And actually, I made a lot of stuff uh, with other people. Sometimes it works uh, good, sometimes not so. Sometimes people become tired and stop to, to come and play music, you know. If you, if you want to work with people, you depend on the, their moods, you know. I understand. And it's, right. and it's not always working because people change their moods. And, uh, they not stay in the same place. They, yes, they, they, same they place. lose their energy, you know. Stuff like yeah, that. I understand, my friend. Bro. So you try to change your project, change your kind of music to helping people to change their moods. And a lot of things you did. <laughs> it's a long journey. <laughs> so should we jump to an, another question? Is like question six? Maybe. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. So question six. Are there any artists you draw inspiration from? If so, who and what sort of music? You see, if, to me, it's uh, if we're talking about if we are talking about music, to me it's like uh, uh, inspiration. It's how much uh, freedom the musician have to to go out of the consensus, you know. Sure. So the the two musicians inspired me. It's Stravinsky and Jimi Hendrix, because uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, it's a musician that started with uh, in, the best. in his per yeah. performances, he started to to make noise, you know. He has some famous performance that he burnt his guitar and it continued to play while burning, you know. It was like unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. One of, uh, Jimi Hendrix, one of the best guitarists for me, it's my godfather. It's for me. <laughs> and uh, Stravinsky is a classical music. Yes, yeah, took the classical music to to the most extreme uh, I think phase. Russian. You know, I think he's Russian. He's he Russian. was the Russian uh, composer that worked in classical. the beginning classical. of the twentieth century. Yes, classical. It was like uh, he opened music to very absolutely different kind of sounds. It's, he used classical symphony orchestra, but it made something else, you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. Just a moment, I try to see for something else. Something. Amazing interview, Abba, my friend. Wow, a lot of amazing <laughs> answers. Uh, so, another question. Which approach do you follow, Boris? Just a moment. Yes. Uh, recording. So, which approach? I put on the ground, on the background. I will put some uh, stuff. Uh, that uh, it it stuff from my band. It called the. Um, it uh, was active in 2015. It's called the uh, Cruel Alien. Cruel Alien, your band. Cru Cruel Alien, and uh, uh, just a moment, some cars uh, make a noise from the uh, outside. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take your time, my friend. Take your time. Take your time, I think. Oh. It's okay, my friend. Take your time. Relax. I'm it's back. okay. I just uh, I just want to eliminate the voice, uh, the noises from it's outside. Okay. We just enjoy our time. We just enjoy our time, my friend. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's your approach. Now you follow that. So... Just you can continue about the band, you crowd, crowd. So this band, it was like two people, me and uh, Micha Kroll, who was uh, originally was a metal guitar guitarist. 
So and uh, he was coming, he, he came first at uh, my rehearsal studio, and uh, then I, I started to teach him to play guitar like avant-garde style, because wow. he was playing metal style. Wow. <laughs> and uh, after that, in this band, he makes drums, because I forbid, I forbid him to play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, he couldn't develop uh, enough avant-garde style of playing guitar, you know. So drums, it was okay. He could play like avant-garde style drums. Wow. <laughs> well, awesome answer. Thank you, Boris, for answering the question six. Okay. Oh, so question seven, I forget. <laughs> it's okay. The question eight, I found in this question. What next for you as you are an artist? Just a moment, I put it a little bit uh, less noise because this music is very noisy. Okay, now I hear you. So, what next for you as an artist? What next for you as an uh, artist? Next to me, I always think about what's next, you know, it's not the uh, endless process of thinking. Of, What's next should I do? You see, I thought to combine a kind of uh, a kind of uh, in the new kind of uh, art. It's art that combines like visuals, like the kind of paintings. Like just listen. It's kind of just listen to me. It's kind of painting, sculpture sound instrument and show all together combined you know like combined brings together all kind of parts into one scene wow i'm impressed wow. <laughs> oh, God. you just combine all that by yourself painting music and visual <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of it's demanding stuff, you know, because this creation has to include some kind of a musical instrument, painting, sculpture, and also like a, a man who an artist that uh, play with it, you know that make it like uh, doing something with this in real time. It's become a show with this kind of combined instrument. So, and as you see, the remaining time is uh, time left nine minutes. So if you check that, if you see, if, and then I'll take a what uh, you can ask me more questions if you like. Yeah, I, I don't when the time up. When the time up, can I call you again just like that to continue our questions because we have a fourth minute and the time left is nine and the interview will finish immediately. So I can call you again after we finish all that. Uh, you can do whatever you like, you know. <laughs> no hey, you. So okay. <laughs> So, okay, it's just uh, time left, nine minutes, just till nine minutes, okay. So, a question nine. What gear do you use for studio on live? For live performance and for the studio? You see, for performance, uh, I was playing a very different uh, instrument at once. Like, uh, it was the DX100, uh, like synth, uh, a trumpet, and the bass uh, and the, the group was uh, like more uh, usual stuff played the more usual stuff like guitars and the drums and stuff like that but it's uh, all the time it's changes it changes you know all the time i bring something new and uh, if i play with people uh, all the time we exchange uh, instruments and stuff like that, you know, that we don't stuck into one thing because we want to take our imagination to new places. 
Wow. Also, also stylistically, you know, it's like uh, uh, to to look for uh, this adventure, you know. So yeah. all all the time, it's something different. So, so that's your gig, guitar. Your you have two cents and guitar and battle board. Uh, this guitar, first of all, I made the shelf. Why did I make the shelf? What you hear you have here on I the shelf? Gears. Can I see your gears for? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's like two. It's a uh, two multi effects, okay. three multi effects. Sure. Okay. And uh, this is the effect for, for bass. It's called the. Uh, uh, SYB5, it's a uh, all kind of effect for bass from uh, from 90s. The cameras, all right. Or... And uh, here's a four channel mixer, so I can make the mix myself with all these components. Wow. Here's a mic, so I can I can sing why I I play with this effect and I. Change these effects with the with my face. I put it here, and I say change it like this. The yeah. sound, you know. Uh, <laughs> so because uh, <laughs> it's free my hands. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> impressive, impressive, Boris. Impressive. So okay, another question. So I forget the questions. <laughs> well, the question ten. Why do you choose ambient music? Are you interested in expanding to other genres in the future? Of course, you like ambient. Uh, can you can you ask again because I uh, didn't catch you from the from the immediately. So, question ten: Why do you choose ambient music? Are you interested in expanding to other genre in the future? So you see, you can... ambient it's kind of. Um... Uh, it has kind of atmospheric that to me it's kind of uh, interesting stuff because it's uh, like create a kind of world it's create a kind of different space because uh, you know when, when you play rock or something like this usual stuff rock or metal or any kind of genre you don't create you don't create a different space. It's it's kind of known space. You know, you you get to some point where it's a kind of expected place, and you play this rock and roll. You know, when when you go to ambient, you have to create a space. You create the world. You know. Yes, just like a big room. Yeah. Space. It's, a, yeah. it's a more imaginative approach to music, you know. You must make your sound much deeply and much atmospheric, deep sound, just like space sound or drum sound. Yes. There's a lot of styles in ambient. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, okay. I started there. Uh, I first started to uh, listen to ambient with Brian Eno in the 80s. Oh, wow. A music and it idea. was like very opening to me this uh, this music because uh, me too, me too. I found somebody that they really think about music a bit different, you know. Brian Eno, uh, another green world and stuff like that, you know. I understand because Brian Eno helped me a lot with the ambient music, and when I listened to MB uh, Brian Eno the first time, I love ambient music by him. He opened me the open everything for me open my mind and i love ambient music and brainy no much respect to him he helped me a lot with the ambient and choose what i am so another question and we just have time remaining three minutes okay it's okay we just maybe still four questions and question 11 what are your biggest goal in terms of music as of right now uh, you see, I, uh, to me, uh, like playing music, every two kind of uh, dimensions. Uh, 
one dimension is creative dimension for myself. Yes, it's what I do at my home and what I can create, uh, you know, with myself and can record and stuff like that. The, the another dimension is dimensions of a live show. How can I uh, hypnotize the audience? Hypnotize the, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, experience I can uh, give them? You know that that's a, a bit different yes, because yes, it's it's, 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 uh, it's it's demanding much more energetic uh, kind of uh, giving. Uh, you you know you have to really <laughs> to give something to people to make them like feel something. <laughs> I know, I understand. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> sure. And okay, another question. Any advice for those looking to start producing electronic music? Is there a particular setup or process that may help others? I think it's not a matter of setup. It's a matter, of, of course, if uh, I think uh, really I have something, some very useful advice. Or especially for groups, if if a group want to success to success, no matter what who play what, they have to find a sound man. The sound man is the center of the group, not the players, not the singer. So because I, if group if group yes. You if group found find a producer that is sound man that can imagine the sound, that group will have a chance. Because today, uh, uh, these recording companies don't uh, really invest in groups, so you don't have interesting productions because there is no sound man, there is no composer, there is no, nobody, you know. Like, and those groups do every. It, it, they do all the same stuff, you know. It's so boring because there is no a, no a team of really imaginative persons that really try to make some uh, extravagant production. You know, you have to have it okay. to make something. Yeah. Yes, of course. That's okay. So let's let's continue with like question twelve. And any advice for those looking to start producing electronic music? Is there a particular setup or process that may help others? Um, the process depends uh, on the mixture of creativity and uh, and construction, uh, because. Uh, you have to create something, but you have also to construct it to make it like uh, spend uh, as a composition and uh, yeah, stuff right. like that. You understand? Because uh, uh, if you only create but not uh, put it into the balance, it's kind of, it can be like uh, uh, some uh, some unorganized stuff. That uh, really people don't know how to get it, you know. I understand. So, yes. So sure. it's uh, the genre of uh, the music uh, as it demands. If your mu music is a genre, demands for you some uh, knowledge of uh, specific knowledge to make music in this genre. So you have to acquire this knowledge. And uh, everyone has to be like uh, stand uh, to some uh, kind of professionalism to make it sound uh, uh, like it should, you know. Uh, there are some genres that are more free, you know, like uh, that you don't have to be like strict professional to be able to create in those, those genres and styles. So it's very much. Depends on what what kind of creation you do, you know. Like, uh, I understand. It's not a it's not a general advice. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, like, um, what you want to do, you have to, to to make yourself stand to the rules of the, your game, you know. <laughs> wow, awesome! Of course, we need knowledge to make music. It's important. To reach to the next level of a musical production. 
you see, not not always, because if you, uh, me for example, uh, I am much more into experimental stuff. Uh, so I, to experiment, I don't have to study how to experiment. I just experiment try, by this, by try this and try that and see what is going on, you know. <laughs> yes, I understand my friend. It's a, it's, it's a bit different approach because some kind, some genres of music, they require the strict knowledge of how to do it, you know. You don't have to experiment to make a, to play classical music. You just have to know how to do it. You know, you have to train yourself. You have, you don't, you have to know the theory, the language, how to everything works together. You know, music architecture, kind. maybe yeah. music architecture, right? And music architecture. You know what I mean? It's, it's not easy to play classical music. <laughs> It's not easy. Yes, people uh, studied for 10 years to, to, to get to some points. That they really 10 can... years, maybe 40 years or 30 years. I know a lot of composers <laughs> and all his life for classical music. Yes, uh, it's, it's, it's it depends uh, what kind of uh, professionalism you need, what kind of difficulty of the, the I think the that's piece, the you know. To, to, to learn what you want to reach from your instrument. Yes. But yes, I think that's the answer. So another question. Question 13. Describe your sound for us. What what do you want people to feel when they hear your music? Uh, you see, I think I go to some sound, especially in the synthesizer I played in the beginning, the sound of the crying baby, just born crying baby. It's it's like something that you cannot stand. Uh, it's it's a, a little bit disturbing, you know, really disturbing. Why the baby has this kind of sound? Because you want to get the attention of the parents. They cannot just leave him alone while, while he is crying, you know. They, it, this kind of disturbing sound gets the, your, your attention, you know. <laughs> It's, oh, it's uh... <laughs> just like me, just like me when I make uh, maybe in 2020, 2020, yes, I make a, a track named uh, Wave Stone or some kind like that because I, I just use a lot of field recording sound of like that and sound of the water and my air condition and a lot of a lot of sound in my room, sound of glasses, of uh, maybe in bathroom, sound of bathroom room. A lot of things, and I make an awesome track. <laughs> Field recording, just like I take a lot of samples from outside. The sound of the car and a lot of sound, you know, the field recording. Uh, you see, you you are talking about concrete music that you use uh, sound from uh, the environment. I'm talking about a uh, really instrument, you know, some kind of expression uh, style of uh, saxophone playing use this kind of uh, special uh, harshness of this uh, sound to catch the attention because it's really kind of uh, sometimes unpleasant, but you cannot uh, just leave it and uh, not feel it, you know. Just enter your mind in a way. <laughs> <laughs> that really, really, you have to react to this, you know. <laughs> but I'm talking about myself how to create a wave stone track. It's a field recording track because I, I use a lot of samples from outside the sound of the water and the sound of the bath, bathroom, a lot of sound from there, maybe just like that or that. I okay, mean, that. I, know. I mean that. Because uh, that's my first uh, expression of field recording, how to make a sound from, uh, take a sample, a lot of things. So that's my first exp expression and field recording, how to, to make um, a track without an instrument. <laughs> you see, I also did make some recording, made some recordings and they put them into, uh, but really in this in this kind of direction uh, i think about future project that uh, use animal voices 
like to make oh, yes, all the arrangement, all the arrangement, all the piece make only from uh, animal voices that uh, you know I can evoke them to to synthesize them into so different like, kind tonal yeah. qualities. Just like Riachi Sakiyamoto, the Japanese composer, when he walked in the street and recording strange sound, maybe sound of the people and the of, sound of the cars and. Ah, I don't people. want to be it's sound of people. Take, I don't. I I think, I think about like is take a small mic to record a sound from street. Every I can uh, I can take something from a you know National Geographic video also. I don't have <laughs> yeah. to go to jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and to, 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 to find the lion and to, to put the mic in his mouth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you take the sound of the animal from National Geographic and put it in the cell? Like it, it to, sound, it, to make a sample and to make it out of it yes, the music, yes, I you know. Yes, I <laughs> you know, this is awesome. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Yes, it's something uh, that I plan to, to, to start to work on and I started to collect, but I don't uh, like moving ahead too much quick with this. And I think in the future I will get to some point that I will have the collection of the sounds and uh, I will uh, fix them and uh, to make them ready to be played, you know, because it should know, be played, uh, you know, I... with synth or something. So I understand what you what you want to do. Well, also. Yes, it can be amazing, you know, because because what's what's the difference between just occasional sounds or instrument that uh, people play? Because animal, it when animal is the uh, is uh, uh, transmitted voice to their surroundings. It comes from the inner feeling, you know? Come it's something on. that really, it's not something occasional, uh, not some instrument, uh, not, uh, it's not like intellectual. Uh, it's come from the depth of the animal soul, you know? And that's why it's, I think it can be very amazing because you just take the expression of the soul of the animals and make with it music. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> well, let me. <laughs> you know, donkeys well, and. Uh, the first artists do that. I'm I, I once I heard some some kind of pop uh, pop music that uh, made was made from uh, from dogs' voices. It was kind of short pop style uh, something. And it was uh, really interesting, but I think to include how many, how many animals as I can, you know, all the animals to bring together <laughs> <laughs> to, to be in one, uh, you know, symphony. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you need a lot of animals to, to reach the big symphony. My <laughs> yes. You know, I was reading some uh, some uh, uh, stuff uh, about uh, different uh, preparation for movies. For example, the movie uh, of um, uh, how it called. So that's your favorite spring, huh? Um, uh, the Batman. The Batman. They send. A really a crew for some uh, uh, caves in deep in somewhere and they very a lot a lot of uh, uh, of uh, bats living masses of bats to record the voices of the bats for the movie you know it's really it was important to them <laughs> like not inside the cave the sound of the bat <laughs> Yes, they, they have some voices because bats not they, they are not see they have no vision. They go after the reflection of their sound from the environment. So 
their voices, they use it uh, really as the eyes. So they have to not to get into the walls, they have to shout voices just to, to know what's going on around them. You know, I understand, wow. God, crazy idea, my friend, wow. So <laughs> you are the first artist to do that, I'm impressed. You are the first artist to do that, I'm impressed. What? So you you take a lot of strange samples from No, it's, uh, meanwhile, it's just the idea, you know. It's just the idea, I and I, 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 I want to maybe realize it. Maybe I will I want... try it. Maybe but I'll... you know, but you know, it's a, a, the idea is general idea. So another composer can use uh, animal voices and then completely different uh, style of style stuff. You but know, it depends on the project, my friend. It's not all project. Yes, of course. It's, it's not all project except the animal voices. It depends on your project, what you want to do in the project. No, they it's a, the the voices of the animal is important uh, part of the project because it starts from the voices. Do you know I'm very excited you know, to they, your project when you finish it? Just you can send it to me to listen your. Yes, I when I start to work on it, it can take some time. You know, it's of course, because, take uh, some time, but I'm excited it, to listen to it. Yes, yeah. when it will be finished, I will send you some uh, something. <laughs> You'll appreciate it, Boris. Thank you. So, another question. Oh, wow. amazing interview today. Wow. Okay, let's uh, let's I go mean, to other questions. Cola, your favorite drink, huh? Just like me, that's my favorite drink. <laughs> it's very hot, and I have no condition. Yes, yes. Air condition, oh, so I just have to to drink uh, all the day you know <laughs> <laughs> we need a lot of things a lot of tons of cola no because uh, you know it uh, yes. your body loses the uh, water and it's hot you lose a lot of water from the body maybe i work now at 53 so hot yeah Iraq, so hot okay another question leave the iraq <laughs> so which three artists have you influenced you the most growing up. Uh, what three artists are? Which which three artists have an influence you the most growing up? Growing up? Yeah. Do you do you hear uh, there is a lot of artists that really uh, 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 took me to another dimensions like Van Gogh, like uh, like Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. You see, yeah. Charlie Chaplin. It's it's uh, he made movies, but he's also made a, a music for me. He didn't know how to play music, but he was singing, and composers took his singing and created the uh, musical mm -hmm. parts for these movies. You know. I know, I and yes. it, yeah. and uh, when you see, look at the movies of Charlie Chaplin, you see that really it's a it's a creation that comes from a, a, from inside of the mind. Uh, it's so so harmonic and so uh, so uh, hypnotizing. All his movements, it's really <laughs> like a, huh? like magician, you know. <laughs> Hypnotizing, huh? <laughs> I see you focusing on hypnotizing, hypnotizing your audience. Yeah, yeah, it's the it's the meaning of art because because if if the art cannot take uh, the person who exposed to art, if it doesn't change his state of mind, if it doesn't uh, bring him kind of inspiration hmm. to continue with his life. So what's the matter? What is all about? You know, it's a it's a matter of really to influence the public and to give something to people that really make a sense in their life. You know, it's the, it's a serious stuff. You know, I know. So true. true, my friend. True, amazing artist. Okay, should we jump to last question? And yes, of course. So. 
What outside of music inspires you to create? Uh, you see, uh, uh, life is full of emotions. It's full of environments that influence you. It's all kind of stuff can be inspiration. It, it uh, can come from very boring stuff. Like, for example, you stand on the busy streets and the, there is a traffic and people like uh, walking around and shouting. And uh, suddenly, if you look on all of what happens, like in the different uh, look, like if it's if you kind of in kind of movie, so you can find the kind of that is, all of this is very funny, or, or it's kind of uh, something amazing. If you make some kind of a distance from what is going. Uh, around you and to try to see it in the eyes of the artist you find some harmonies you find some meaning in all of this you know some uh, some uh, so, uh, rhythms some uh, expressions and uh, suddenly all this uh, chaotic stuff becomes something interesting you know the, everything, everything the, inspire you everything inspire you people sounds animals a lot of things you just keep it yes you also also just, feelings you know so, feeling and sometimes as you know sometimes uh, you see sometimes you meet somebody and they and the, you talk you. with him and the, you you can you find something uh, that you really didn't thought about some kind of uh, uh, exchange of ideas stuff like that or you reading books or you go to movies a lot everything of can a lot of inspiration tools maybe a lot of inspiration tools books movies. you know sometimes it just uh, just uh, you buy a new instrument. I would just keep practicing. And, the, and the, you, 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 tr you try to fix it that fits your, uh, the start to play like you, you need it to, to play. And it will bring you inspiration, some synthesizer that you uh, find new sounds inside of it. Like to start to play. I install every plugin when I install every plugin my day definitely because um, as always I'm using the computer as my main instrument because the computers for me is a instrument just like the Hans Simmer said because he said the computer is an instrument you need practice you need to understand the instrument much well you need more years to you know so history. you know sometimes it's not a matter of practicing it's a matter of really not practicing it's a matter of uh, you have knowledge. Uh, listen to some occasional stuff that that really you something happened that you not control it, control it, and you find into it some kind of message, unexpected message, and you go with it and develop it into something else. You know. Yes, you're right. You are much much interesting artist, my friend Boris. Really, really appreciate. It. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. You know, it's. Uh, I just try to not to lo to lock myself into the one direction. I just try to always like to to think what else, what's more, you know, like what can I do more than I did before? <laughs> I write the song. What's next? So how can I inspire <laughs> to create new things? You just keep inspiring and. Continue our journey. You're amazing. Really, thank really, you. Thank you, Boris. Real appreciated for the interview. Thank, thank for you the for interview. the interview. I will. Thank you. you for the interview. It was a very interesting talk to me. I really thank you. Time. Really, really appreciated for you coming today. I'm very happy today. Very excited to to meet you. One of the best artists and amazing and inspiring. You inspire me a lot, my friend. Thank you so much. If you need anything, just drop me a message. Time. I'm very happy because you like my music in Bandcamp. I make a lot of projects. And <laughs> yes, I will keep making music. I will send it to I you. will keep on follow your creation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Boris. Real appreciate it. I will send you. Thank that. you. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. Okay. Thank you so much.
Appreciate it, my friend. <laughs> I will send you the interview after we finish that, all that. So okay, can... thank you. Appreciate it. See you around. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.